Temple food is immensely popular around the world as a healthy food for the modern people. It is a vegetarian diet that is based on Buddhist doctrine which respects life. However, during Sakyamuni's time, as monks were given alms through the Takpa ritual, eating meat was allowed as long as the meat had not been killed for the monks. Then when did monks begin to go on a vegetarian diet? In 1st century BC, monks observed Vasa, an annual retreat that took place during the wet season during which monks remained in one place, for its royal family and the wealthy class provided monks with temples and lands. During such retreats, it is said that Bai Zhang Hua Hai, a Chinese monk, worked down in the fields without a single day's rest until he was 90. His disciples were sorry to see him work so hard, and one day, they hid their teacher's hoe and plow. But that day, Bai Zhang Hua Hai refused to eat a single meal. When his disciples asked him to eat, Bai Zhang Hua Hai said, A day without work is a day without food. He taught that labor and monastic practice must go together. Ever since then, the monks raised food in the fields and cooked themselves. When Emperor Wu of Liang China, who had been a Buddhist monk himself, established a policy prohibiting meat and liquor, the influence of Chinese Buddhism expanded to Korea and Japan, and temple food began to be centered on a vegetarian diet. According to spirit of Buddhism that focuses on harmony of life and mercy, Korean temple food prohibits the five spices that have a pungent taste, and instead adds flavor by using mushroom powder and kelp powder. Temple food, which is being highlighted as a healthy food, embodies the merciful spirit and respect for life in Buddhism.